All right, guys, so I have them both cleaned up out here, the 99 and the 2000, both EX models. 99's five-speed, 2000's automatic. I'm sure you guys know uh, with being on my channel, but if you don't, I figured I would just, um, if you're new to it. So uh, a couple months ago, actually earlier this year, I want to say I did a walk-around of my 99, and uh, normally I have the Enki RPF1s. The 18 by 8 um, and uh, 18 by 8 and a half with I think a negative 30 or 40 um, offset I'd have to double check that again I'll show a picture of it if you haven't seen it um, but I did a walk around on that a while ago it was a very windy day um, and I figured I'd do a walk around of this in the winter mode I've already done one on my 2000 and um, kind of explain some stuff a little bit better on here. So this, uh, you, you guys have probably seen the whole history on the video. If you haven't, go check that out. It's a very long video. But this was originally the one I got sponsored with, with HRG. And I got it, bone stock, and then lifted it. And then eventually lifted, blew the motor, or hydrolocked the motor four-wheeling. And uh, I ended up lifting it, getting sponsored with HRG, doing HRG kit, snorkel, all that stuff to it. And then eventually... I was like, you know what? I kind of want to lower this one and have fun with it uh, on the road. And that one got hit and it got totaled and I fixed it. And I was like, you know what? Let's make that one the off-road. Kind of sucks it's automatic, but um, I want to boost this one and have a little bit more fun on the street with it. Um, just to kind of go through some stuff because I've never boosted a uh, CRV. Um, and I always wanted a five-speed one. So what I end up doing to this, uh, as it sits now, is this front emblem, a lot of people ask about it, is from a Honda Odyssey, second generation. Um, you just want to look it up on eBay, Amazon, wherever you can find it, and it just sticks right on. Uh, the front lights are depot headlights, black housing, highly recommend them. I've had them for years, they still look great, I have them on both of mine, uh, I've done them for other vehicles too, and I love them. The bumpers, I just repainted the OEM bumpers, um, and it doesn't look that great, honestly, when you get up close. It's, it's not horrible, but I didn't end up clear coating. It was dead of winters, freezing, and same thing with the trim, uh, all the way around, side skirts, mud flaps, all that. I didn't end up clear coating, so I'll probably take it back off uh, next year and redo them and clear coat them. And I have the Jeep Cherokee front bumper lip that's going to go on, but I'm not going to do it during um, uh, winter. So I just don't, you know, need to go through the elements with it. Why, why do it if I don't have to? I did do, if you see right here, the stick speed horns. Uh, I like the stock location because I like the way they show in the grill, uh, the front lower grill. And uh, guys, I highly recommend them. They're cheap, affordable, and they are loud. Uh, I do like those. Um, what else I do? I just made sure, you know, I got the rear or the front lower plastic uh, ballast skid plate you want to call it whatever down there um, I ended up sourcing that one off of that when I lifted it but I didn't or I did originally have it but it was all beat up um, I've done numerous things to this guys I mean from even new I did a video on that too new washer uh, motors uh, the wash pump motors to a new windshield all new AC in this thing um, JDM B20B uh, XTD stage 3 clutch um, I'll show more on there you know power stop front brakes drilled and soldered rotors um, I did uh, still has the OEM brake calipers on it uh, those are the OEM wheels actually um, and uh, I put winter they're uh, hand cooked um, winter um, was it winter ICEPs however they want to say IZs um, and they are 205 70 15 stock tire size fits really good i get a little rubbing sometimes with the true heart coilovers where i got a set i have not adjusted this this is the same uh setup with my uh ankies with the 18s um and they seem to both fit well and i like the setup um i believe it or not the only thing i have not replaced on here is the drums i'm still running the drums uh still running the brake pads still doing good or shoes um i'm sure they're gonna go soon and then what i'm gonna do is do the disc brake swap uh greg rawls he's the guy that makes my graphics too if you check him out uh i'll put a link to him in this video or try to or, or his picture up and uh he can get you rear uh brackets for and everything you need everything you, you need to know about it and where to go to find it yeah uh, for your rear brake conversion um so i'll put that up there and for the uh graphics 
So I had it tinted down to Florida. These are just some uh, vent shades off of eBay, cheaper ones that have done great, been stuck on there for years. Um, depot tail lights. Uh, here I did the rear element, and I explained that in my one of my other videos. So if you want to know more, please go back and watch the whole history on uh, on my 99. That will tell you more. Um, Greg also does the real time uh, four wheel drive uh, stickers. Um, and this is the original Honda Rescue Garage sticker, and I'm proud. I'm going to keep that here. This is when I first got sponsored with him. Uh, goes by HRG Engineering now. Uh, doesn't have it anymore, but I, I like that sticker, and I'm not going to take it off until it needs to come off. Um, went with Yonaka Motorsports catback exhaust. I've liked it. It's a little raspy. I had to tone it down with a ultra um, vibrant, ultra quiet resonator. Um, this is a uh, replica uh, stock spoiler. With the LED third brake light. The reason why I went with this is because the guy had such good uh, reviews and did a great job. If you look at the fitment on this thing, it's amazing. And I don't like the OEM with the chrome piece. So for me, that just was a no-go. I like the LED brake light. I like the clean look, uh, no chrome. And if you look at it, I mean, it, it turned out amazing. Fitment is great. It's solid. I've had no issues with it. And that was painted by him, too. I think it was like 300 and... 50 bucks to my door uh well worth it in my opinion i do have you can't see it now uh but i have pictures on instagram i do have the aerogenics third brake light uh it says crv when you hit it so it's pretty sweet um just stock oem tire on the uh rear spear, or spare for winter um let's go down here so you can see uh, what we got going on here so i got true heart lower control arms i do have brand new uh, brackets from them to reconnect my rear sway bar and I have Siberian bushings to put in my front and rear sway bar I haven't yet you see the true heart street coilovers the Yonaka cat back um, and then down there you might be able to see I have pictures yeah the ultra quiet resonator where I welded it um, I have true heart toe arms adjustable toe arms true heart uh, rear camber kit um, true heart uh, rear trailing arm bushings have served me really well in this one um i end up switching the white line with that because it's a lot better for the lifted application that fender is actually off the 2000 because i originally had the snorkel so i swapped the fenders um let's see here i have true heart front camber kit up here with new ball joints i don't know if you can see it too well there you go um the street coilovers all new bushings, all new ball joints, everything in there, except for the front control arms are brand new with new bushings, but I want to do the Siberian um, uh, polyurethane bushings. Energy suspension kind of seems to be a pain in the butt to get anything anymore for these. It's kind of hit or miss. I did do the energy suspension. Um, I did the uh, Detroit Axle um, rack and pinion sorry detroit axle rack and pinion and i did do the energy suspension bushing kit which was cool those are getting harder to find so i did pop that in uh that was nice i did new tie rods on here of course all that um it's got the you know stock charcoal gray interior i did swap out uh 90 or sorry 2000 or 2001 se leather uh, i have one spot that has a tear all the rest is in really really good shape actually for you know 20 year old vehicle did an nrg um steering wheel this one my daughter and me picked out uh it's white i wanted a white one to match and she got uh that one that glowed in the dark and i actually really liked it <laughs> so she wanted me to pick it and i actually really enjoy it i have the nrg quick disconnect carbon fiber and then their hub kit um highly recommend them i mean are, there's better steering wheels out there yeah of course but for the price these are good steering wheels i've had no problems with them um, I am going to do a video because I see a lot of people asking on just a little on the pages. I see them asking all the time, just a little, uh, walkthrough of all the, I guess you'd say extra amenities and special things you could do with the CRVs, like make, you know, the bed, if you have the EX and other things. So stay tuned for that. Um, that will be kind of cool. I just haven't seen many people do that. So, um, so I have a pioneer head unit. Uh, what is it? The A, A, V, I, C. 520 inex so this thing's pretty sweet um i like the tablet version everybody's getting here but i uh i grabbed this one a little earlier 
a few years back and it's got GPS and everything else and it's served me great. I love it. Um, I don't have a working clock. That's one thing I got to do on here. Um, it does have the Bluetooth and, you know, connect to the call, all that. Skunk 2 shift knob. Um, I do still have all my OEM stuff. Um, and I kept it in there for a while. This is a VMS leather shift boot. I do like it. Um, Skunk 2, you know, the weighted shift knob helps with the throw a little bit. Um, I can watch DVDs in here. I just flip this switch for the kids. Uh, you know, if I want to watch something, um, this is Tyler's, uh, CRV guards. He goes by a uh, cup holder. I got it white to match. I got a black one in my 2000 also. Uh, I love this thing guys. I highly recommend it for the automatic too. He's also, you know, we have the pocket. He's also, um, going to make one for there and I'm definitely going to sign up to get it. Uh, because if you guys know on the automatic, those ones still suck too. They tip all over the place. Um, I do still have the original manual, everything in there. Um, you know, all in there, original manual from 99, all that. It's pretty sweet. Um, seat belts are still in really good shape. They, you know, draw back, everything, no problem. Um, let's see, I did do LED bulbs uh, all the way around, including the license plate light, everything. Um, what else? Everything also works in here, guys. The cruise control is the only thing I don't have hooked up right now, but everything works. Cruise control, um, power steering, AC. Like I said, I put all brand new AC in there, brand new power steering, except for the pump. Uh, that is a rear sway bar from an EK chassis Civic that will fit. Um, and like I said, I will do a video on the seats and how they lay down and everything. Um, I did do new struts. I did new uh, barn door strut. Opens right up. Apologize, you guys hear some kids they are going over to the park, so they get a little loud. I uh, still have my CRV picnic table. Still have a little cooler area. A lot of people don't know, but um, this was designed, from what I read in one of the brochures, for you to be able to put, like, ice in and things like that, and you pull those tabs and you get empty. It was pretty cool, uh, among what other things, too, but it was one of those things to be, like, a little, you know, temporary cooler kind of thing while you're hanging out or something at the beach or with people. Um... You know, you got your little hideaways here and stuff like that. So, yeah, everything everything's there. I'm not missing anything. Let's go to the, uh, the engine bay. And mileage on this is the original miles other than motor. Transmission, everything, differentials, all that. So, 193, uh, 647. And this thing runs like a top. I've had no issues with it. Only thing is I am getting a check engine light for crank uh, sensor. Figures the one thing I didn't replace because I figured it would be good. And it did. It lasted a few years uh, when I did the JDM B20 swap. I didn't want to. Um, there's a way you could bypass. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted it to be nice and OEM. And it, it's nothing to bolt it up and plug it right in. Um, so I'm going to have to replace that, which is going to suck. But So I am going to do a torque dampener. I think I'm going to bolt it somewhere around here and bolt it to the frame so when the motor torques you know uh back and forth because i do have the 1320 polyurethane motor mounts and the brackets i haven't had any trouble with them uh, yet the vibration is nowhere near as bad as you think it would be it's actually pretty pretty decent and i don't think you can see the one down there maybe um but i've had nothing but great uh reviews for them for myself i've enjoyed that i do have a short rim intake just a cheap ebay one from an ek i do have the pipe to make it cold air I've noticed uh, I've had better response from it being a short ram, actually, even in here with the heat, which is uh, strange. Uh, I think because it has more area to flow and, you know, just right here is not so bad, so it's not really getting that hot. Um, as opposed to when I had it with the cold air. I have dyno this, uh, came to 135 horsepower um, to the all four wheels and 125 foot pounds of torque. Um, it was on a 100 degree hot day, and that was just at a dyno day. Uh, I went back and talked to the owner and he said probably honestly on a, on a normal cool day you know not cold just like a, a decent normal day um, and if they had you know spent some time with it stock ECU everything just to have it set on the uh, um, dyno and kind of prepare for this make and model and everything he said that um, he would be surprised if it didn't put around 145 to the wheels uh, maybe a little bit more so that was cool to hear um i did just realize somehow this shot up probably when it was frozen but thank god i didn't lose that um so everything is here guys 
One thing I do want to say is I did a new slave cylinder. Uh, I did a Xetti. Um, I did a new stainless steel clutch line when I did the XTD Stage 3 clutch. Um, I can't say enough about that. All that's been great. Password JDM sadly shut down, but Skunk 2 makes one and a few others. Uh, this has um, got two seals for your cam seal. No leak and no issues. After I put that in and put one in on the uh, 2002 and never had an issue. I do have a three inch throttle body, I guess they, um, I think it's a 78 millimeter bore. Um, Rick's throttle body. I had to grind and adjust and uh, kind of make some adjustments on there and swap the actual um, throttle cable all the way around to make it work because uh, obviously, you know, if you guys know the CRV has a different throttle cable and everything else way it's positioned. So that was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I don't highly recommend them. They, those guys, it sticks a little every now and then. Um, they're not horrible. I mean, it does work, obviously, but uh, it is a little annoying. The Skunk 2s are a little bit more money and some of the other brands, and I believe, you know, I would go with those. Uh, Ultra Racing Front Strut Bar. Um, I do want to get the rest of there. They have lower um, rear subframe bar, and I think they have a front subframe bar. And I think I do just want to read, read the, uh, sorry, use their rear sway bar, or not sway bar, rear uh, upper uh, strut bar. Sorry, guys. i am been busy. It was a long on-call weekend for, for my first weekend there. I was basically working from 1 o'clock Friday in the afternoon to 8 a.m. Monday so I'm kind of still catching up but Optima yellow top I did it aero speed um, uh, battery tie down which I like um, MSD ignition kit I got from VMS it's blaster coil 2 runs to the 10 millimeter 10.2 I think millimeter wires um, and the distributor cap rotor I've had nothing but great results with that it seemed like it picked up the lag in the top end it seemed like spark just you know stayed all the way through much smoother and then i did ngk iridium plugs which helped out even more of course i did you know the common new fuel filters uh, timing belt water pump oil pump is new um i did brand new oil gasket but i do feel like i got a little bit of oil coming from right around here on this uh um though they call it grommets what they call it so hopefully That'll be easy fix, but I don't see any oil coming from anywhere else. Did the 1320 Toto style header with the test pipe, and I wrapped it. The brand new radiator fans. I can't remember the name brand. This, you know, I got this off eBay. I think it's just eBay aluminum radiator. For the longest time, finding any aluminum radiators full size for this thing was a pain in the ass. Now they're starting to pop up more. And I apologize for the dirty engine bay. Uh, G plus silicone hose kit. I cannot say enough for this. I have one in, in the 2000. Um, I have a red one that I was going to put in my other in Project Blue, but um, don't know what I'm doing it now. Uh, guys, I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks shipped to your door, and I've never had an issue with them. They're just great. Uh, great kit. Um, this is Run Hard's ground wire kit. I did this for both this and the 2000. I can't say enough for these either. New battery terminals, get the whole kit. I think it's like 100, 110 bucks um, shipped to your door. And it's, you know, transmission, it's the engine ground, two engine grounds, I believe, transmission ground down there. And, uh, of course, your battery terminals and everything running the fuse box. I love it. It's great. Um, you know, I've, I've put all uh, Honda transmission fluid in there. Um, they're, they're basically motor oil is basically what they use in their uh, manual transmissions at that time. Uh, I do still have the original OEM starter and the OEM alternator, which is crazy to me <laughs> usually those are the first thing to end up going on all my vehicles in the past um i did all new power steering hoses i still have the education is important lifted hondas are partner i gotta get that off of there uh this is a brand new oem cow from honda i replaced that um i did do the license plate here everybody asked for uh you know when i had the hole for when um i had the snorkel so yeah that's pretty much it guys i mean it's it's a simple crv but it's still fun i i also did an obx thermal intake manifold gasket um which was pretty nice the fitment on that was great i had no issues with that and of course it's all brand new gaskets when i pulled the motor that motor's from hmo i uh, highly recommend hmo if you're going you know for a jdm motor uh, i think it was like 840 bucks shipped to my door but yeah she's just clean little crv she set it for winter mode unfortunately i got a driver in the winter 
Uh, I have the preludes, as you guys know, that I'm working on. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Just a walk around on it. I'll have some videos of driving it. I will say, these winter tires, amazing in the snow. They stick great. I've had some, you know, the general winter tires and different other ones I've used. Blizzax. Um, and Blizzax were awesome, honestly. But for the price, I, I couldn't justify they were that good, I would say. Um, but these ones are probably the best I've ever had in the snow. They freaking hook, man. But they are soft and they suck when the weather is a little bit warmer. We got one week of like 70 degrees weather and then we're right back to snow again. So we had a whole two weeks of horrible weather. And, uh, well, I actually like the snow, but... Um, I can't say enough about how they hook in the snow. Man, they are soft when you're driving. <laughs> they don't they don't hook and they don't handle very well. Take it tight corners uh, in the heat. But yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know if there's anything else I can do on there. There's videos on the exhaust, how I uh, fit the exhaust, sound of the exhaust. There's videos on the, um, if you look on there, my coilovers, uh, suspension setup, everything motor it running but i just want to do a walk around of it basically in winter mode um kind of show you guys about it and uh, i appreciate it thank you for all the love guys you guys have a great one